Leo and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of June 12th. Okay, you're really it's showing up, you're moving along here. You're focusing more on doing you, what makes you happy, what's your desires, okay? So that did show up profoundly for some of you. Now there is some karmic energy also showing up here, so um, really, the message would be whatever actions you take, do the best, do good, you know, because you're building karma. Okay, so that did show up. And here too, so you're building karma and moving forward, okay? At the same time, there could be a little bit of restrict, rest, you feeling restricted. But that's because it could be you're dealing with some karma and also you're building karma at the same time. Money is in focus, conserving spending, okay? You know, watch your spending, take a more conservative approach to your money. You know, money could be good for some of you, but, you know, there, life is ups and downs. So if you're on a spending spree, kind of um, be careful uh, for the future. If not, just either way, conservative approach is the best here that's showing up. It's a general reading. You can come up with a great plan and an idea, okay? I do see some, let me see here. Okay. You are amazing some people around you, okay? Also, I'm just seeing that one thing leads to another, like love, um, goals, blah, blah, blah. Whatever's happening, it's like it's almost a domino effect. Things are just one thing leads to another. And this could be um, love and focus too. Good things, let's put it that way. So I'm just seeing things moving and one thing leading to another. And it looks good. Okay, you have a lucky streak. Okay, you could find money on the street, for example, win some money, um, get a get a great reward. There is a lucky streak here, okay? That is a general though. And you want to share the best things with someone special in your life, okay? But more energy and focus on love is required too, okay? So, you know, as things are going good for you and that there may be some people feeling neglected or just to, if you just need to put a little bit more energy and focus on matters of the heart and on creativity. Okay, so that did show up. You could be a little bit sentimental. There's sentimental feelings showing up here of... Um, things from the past or, you know, you find a souvenir or something that you've kept just for sentimental value. Um, for others, this could be old things showing up like antiques and interest in antiques, dealing with antiques or something like that can be coming up too. So I'm just giving you examples. Okay. Love is in focus again. I'm seeing recognition, passion, with maybe a partner or a love interest, if it's a new love, it's really like feeling passionate, your heart's throbbing. Just love in general, general, okay? Now, I do see travel and or talks of travel, okay? And this can be with a partner or um, a romantic getaway too for some. For some, it, it is um, travel or talks of travel um, showing up, okay? Now, do watch your health and your well-being. Don't think you're invincible, okay? So do watch your health. Um, that's just showing up there. Also be patient, okay? You're like waiting to make a certain, you're waiting, okay? Waiting, wanting is what I meant to say, to make some certain impression on someone or whatever it is. Or you want something really, really bad, okay? But patience is also required, okay? Hmm, interesting. Okay, on the plate. Okay, 
Okay, you have like a double type of energy comparing it to the Tarot too. But also this can um, telling can be telling you that you're just more wanting to have a lot more fun. Again, um, this could be a lot of dating for some of you. Um, going out to parties, you know, that is showing up for others. You know, take it a little bit easier. It, you know, there could be some toxic situations around. Um, also, when I see that, it could be connected to your health. Okay, so be careful of your health. All is good, but you get, you know, all could be good, and all of a sudden you get sick, okay? And I don't want to put that out there, but it is saying watch your health, okay? Or something, or something, this could be like a wedge in some of your plans, okay? So you plan something, then something shows up, you know, kind of spoils it, or a little wrench, something like that. There is possibly toxic people or situations around. You are definitely um, thirsty for your pleasures. For um, You're more alive, okay? Even sexually. It's really showing up here, okay? Opportunities and unexpected opportunities. Um, nice surprises, okay? It's really... I like this. You've got a streak of good luck again here showing up. Now, there can be some hidden things here. Um, troops being revealed. Okay. Pay attention to your dreams. Okay. Um, there is some emotional connections here. And and bonding um, emotionally with some people. That, that's really looking good. Uh, children also can be in focus for some that did show up. There's a lot here, but it's a general. <laughs> anyway, um... When I do the coffee cups, I do see symbols and all kinds of that. And a lot of them are animal symbols, too. And I don't exactly tell you um, I see a bird or, you know what I mean, or a snail. And that I just interpret things, how they are positioned and that. So I wanted to include um, spiritual animal cards. And I pulled two for the month of June. June already started, but I'm going to pull one for the overall energy and one for the subconscious energy. Okay. And I may incorporate uh, an animal card every week from another deck. We'll see how that goes. But um, the card that you've got for the month of June is you got the elk. And it says, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. And others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. That's a good message. Okay. So that is the overall ener energy and the underlining energy. You got Panda. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. Okay. So that is the underlining energy. Okay. So you got the elk as the overall energy. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. And others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. And your subconscious, okay, and underlining energy is create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. Well, Leo, that was your reading for the week ahead of um, June 12th. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you back here next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best, and bye for now.